In this video, we will look at some special cases that can come up as we're solving a system of equations by graphing. Here we have two problems, y equals 3 halves x minus 4 and y equals 3 halves x plus 1 that we're going to graph to hopefully find the point of intersection where both equations are true. Fortunately, both equations are already in the y equals mx plus b form that we like that makes graphing really easy. In the first equation, 3 halves x minus 4, we can see b, or where this graph is going to start, is at negative 4. So I'll put that on my graph at negative 4 on the y-axis. And m, my slope, is 3 halves, which represents a rise of 3 and a run of 2. So I'll rise 3, run 2, rise 3, run 2, rise 3, run 2. Kind of follow that out each direction. And that's going to give me my line. Let me make that a little bit better so it actually goes through my dots. There we go. And similarly with the other equation, we, it's in the y equals mx plus b form also. When we see 3 halves x plus 1, we know 1 is the y-intercept. 3 halves is the slope. And so we can start at 1 and rise 3, run 2, rise 3, run 2, rise 3, run 2. We can take it backwards as well. And what we see is happening, though, are we ever going to actually intersect? No. Both these lines are parallel lines. Parallel lines run in the same direction with the same slope. If we have parallel lines, they're never going to intersect. And what this tells us is if they never intersect, we will never have a pair of numbers that makes both of these equations true at the same time. So we will say there is no solution. Let's take a look at another special case that might come up that might be even different than this. In this problem, we have 2x minus 6y equals 12 and 3x minus 9y equals 18. As you can see, they're not ready to graph yet because they're not in intercept form. So let's do that. The first equation, we have to subtract 2x from both sides. Gives us negative 6y equals negative 2x plus 12. Divide both sides by negative 6, and as we do, we'll divide each and every term, giving us positive 1 3rd x minus 2. And we can see on here that b, our y-intercept, is negative 2, m, our slope, is 1 3rd. So we'll start at our b of negative 2 on the y-axis, and we'll rise 1, run 3, rise 1, run 3, Rise 1, run 3, and going the other direction, same thing. It's a really bad line. Whoops. There we go. And we can do the same thing to the other equation. We can subtract 3x from both sides. Negative 9y equals negative 3x plus 18. Divide each term by negative 9, and we get y equals 1 3rd x minus 2. And so this one's going to start with a y-intercept at negative 2 and a slope at 1 3rd. So if we start at negative 2 and we rise 1, run 3, rise 1, run 3, rise 1, run 3, even go the other direction, what you might notice is happening as I connect these dots is how these two lines compare with each other. They're both actually the same line. This is because both equations are just a multiplication by 3 halves or 2 thirds of each other. They basically consist, though, of the same solutions. If they both consist of the same solutions, it means any point that works on one line also works on the other line. So rather than having one point, we have infinite solutions, because they are both 